Piers Morgan attacks Meghan Markle and Harry for wasting taxpayers' money on Africa move. Piers Morgan has launched a withering attack on Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry's plans to move to Africa, claiming they are only trying to run away from Prince William and Kate. The Good Morning Britain host condemned the move, questioning why the taxpayer should really fund the trip which he expects to cost millions of pounds. Writing for the Mail Online, Morgan alleged that Britain was already too small for the couple. In recent days, plans emerged that the pair want to move over to Africa. Buckingham Palace has reportedly said it would offer Meghan and Harry a new role, which would combine their work on behalf of the Commonwealth along with charity work and a role promoting the UK. But Mr Morgan was quick to criticise Meghan for her brash spending and attitude since marrying Harry. He wrote, since marrying into the British royal family, she's already shown a gleeful propensity for spending money in a manner so extravagant she's been dubbed Meghan Antoinette in honour of the infamously over-the-top 18th-century French queen. There was her wedding to Harry a year ago, estimated to have cost $40 million including a $500,000 Claire Waite Guller wedding dress that was mostly financed by British taxpayers there was the absurdly lavish recent five-day $500,000 baby shower at a five-star hotel in New York, brimming with celebrities, private jets, paparazzi and heartfelt floral gifts for the less fortunate. He added, to emphasize just how much the poor were on Meghan's minds during her baby shower orgy of opulence. A website for Lauderay boasted with stupendous irony how its signature $350 macaron towers for the $75,000 a day penthouse party evoke the Parisian glamour and elegance that Marie Antoinette would approve of. Rumours of a fallout between the Sussex and Cambridge households have been rife in recent months. Mr Morgan accused the couple of thinking they're the biggest young royal stars but said their influence didn't compare to the Cambridges. There was the absurdly lavish recent five-day $500,000 baby shower at a five-star hotel in New York, brimming with celebrities, private jets, paparazzi and heartfelt floral gifts for the less fortunate. He added, to emphasize just how much the poor were on Meghan's minds during her baby shower orgy of opulence. A website for Lauderay boasted with stupendous irony how its signature $350 macaron towers for the $75,000 a day penthouse party evoke the Parisian glamour and elegance that Marie Antoinette would approve of. Rumours of a fallout between the Sussex and Cambridge households have been rife in recent months. Mr Morgan accused the couple of thinking they're the biggest young royal stars but said their influence didn't compare to the Cambridges.